contentious case in which the Trinidad and the Tobago Chamber of Industry and Commerce had to answer to charges of contempt of court started at the industrial court today. High-profile senior counsel, including Christopher Hamelsmith, Fayed Hussain, and Reginald Amor, represented the chamber and its, and its executive members. They all objected to the inclusion of the joint trade union movement in the matter. Marie Therese Bernard has more. Chief Executive Officer and other members of the Trinidad and Tobago Chamber of Industry and Commerce appeared in court this morning charged with contempt of court. In December 2016, businessman Frank Mute, attorney Derek Alley, Chamber CEO Gabriel Farrier and the Chamber itself were served with subpoenas by the Industrial Court after it was reported that its members blamed the court for low productivity, saying if businesses opt to fire an employee, they can be faced with a ruling of wrongful dismissal by the Industrial Court. Today's proceedings did not resolve the case. It has been delayed due to an application by the Joint Trade Union Movement for its lawyer to join the matter. JTIM's attorney, Douglas Menz, said the Labour body wanted to assist the court in reaching its final judgment. The lawyers appearing for the chamber argued against JTIM joining the matter due to the lateness of its application. They argued that the serious nature of the offence, which carries a jail sentence if the defendants are found guilty, demands that proper procedural priority and fairness be followed. We caught up with what leader of JTIM, Ansel Roger, at the end of the hearing, who said that while he had several opinions on today's matter, it is now for the courts to decide. Everything is still procedural. We have made, that's the Joint Trade Union Movement, we have made an application to join as an interesting party and um, that, whether or not we are allowed to do that, that is being determined. And so it is a matter that is before the court and at this point we would not want to make um, any further comment. Justice Deborah Thomas Felix adjourned the matter till after Carnival when a directions hearing will be convened to point the way forward for the case. Mary Therese Bernard, C News.